Good morning, good afternoon, good night guys. What is up? It's Jojo and we're here in my apartment and today we're doing something a little different. We are answering the most asked questions about the Disney College program. Now, I'm getting these questions from Instagram. I went to Instagram to ask you guys, hey, send me some questions. So, if you haven't followed me, make sure you go down below. The link to my Instagram will be there. I like to post updates there all the time about different things in my life. It's pretty cool. Go check it out. I will also leave my Instagram right here. It's at Jojo Crane. It's literally all my social media, guys. With all that being said, though, if you enjoyed this video, make sure you like it, um, subscribe if you're new, and the biggest thing you can do is share it. If there's any questions that your friends want to know, share this video. Hopefully, I can answer some today. With all that being said, though, Let's start this video off. I'm just going on my Instagram off my phone right now. We're just going to do this. Here we go. We're going to start from the top. Is it hard missing school from an elongated amount of time? This is from Melissa Braun. Um, so personally, I actually graduated before I went on the college program. So for me, it wasn't really an issue, but I have had friends who do it. Actually, Austin, he's not home right now. He does a school and the DCP and he was able to do it. Basically, it's kind of circumstantial. You have to decide if you're willing to take a break or if you need to do it while you're here. I've had friends who've done it all, who have taken classes and have been on the DCP with ease. How did auditions go? I want to be a performer at Disney. Uh, Carolina Odom 16. Uh, it went fine. I auditioned in New York City. I met some awesome people there. The auditions are actually a lot of fun. I would. My biggest recommendation is don't be nervous and just be excited, have fun. I made it all the way through my auditions and they even took pictures of me. They recorded me dancing. But at the end of the day, they didn't need me at the time. So it's all circumstantial, depending on what they need at that time. But my best advice would be go in and just have fun with it. What? Have fun! Kyle Palo. Just right have fun with it. Just have fun. We were talking about auditions. Yeah, I know. I, I heard. Best way to make friends. Samantha Jorid. Go to Jelly Rolls. There you go. Uh, Jelly Rolls is a fun place to go. Um, if you're above the age of, uh, if you're 21 or above, of course. But if you can't go to Jelly Rolls, um, just being open. Say hi to people when you get on your Disney College program. The biggest thing is... Everyone's in the same position as you. Everyone is in a new environment. So definitely just go ahead, reach out to people, say hi, what's good, what's happening, and I'm sure you'll uh, meet some friends. Alyssa M, what's the application process like? By the way, love your videos. Oh, thank you so much. The application process, you basically um, submit... Alexa, I'm answering a question. Um, basically, for the application process... Want to try a game of skill instead? I've got everything from music games to meditation or fitness skills. Sorry, Alexa interrupted me. Um, basically, what's the application process like? By the way, I love your videos. Um, the application process, basically, you create an account, you submit your information, and then they get back on you if you want a web-based interview. Once you complete the web-based interview, you get a phone interview. And the phone interview is the biggest part. There are a ton of videos online, so go ahead, just search up phone interviews, what they're like, and they will help you out. It's, um, it's a pretty fun process. It's not that hard. If you're committed, I'm sure you'll get it. Is it hard to stay with the company after the DCP? Good question, um, Audrey Hennen. Staying with the company after the DCP is not hard, but it is. Basically, when you're on your CP, make sure you try not to call out. Make sure you do your job correctly. You know, you make good impressions. And the biggest thing, like I said, just don't call out. Um, we go off a point system here, and depending on how many points you have, will either prevent you or allow you to apply for part-time, full-time. Is it by Sarah Youngblood? What's up, girl? Is it possible to audition for performing roles I am the DCP? Unfortunately, right now it is not. So once you are on the Disney College program, uh, that is your role. Um, you have to stay in that role for the six months, and then there will be. Uh, character performer extension auditions sometimes or you could just apply for a part-time full-time I've had friends who've actually skipped the DCP and have gone straight to auditions and gotten it and they just come down part-time or full-time how do you get your job do you get to pick is it random um, ERC 43 basically you just have a preference so make sure you do some research about the roles you can be on your CP you'll have a preference of five different roles and after your um, phone interview where you talk about what you want or not want to do they will put you in that role 
So my best advice is when you're on the phone interview, make sure you know what you want. Make sure you let your interviewers know what you want. There's no guarantees, but at least letting um, Disney know what you would be more comfortable in and your preferred role will help you get what you want, to a degree. What is the Disney College program and what does it do? Wow, what a great question, uh, JB, before. The Disney College program is basically an internship that allows you to come down to Disney and work for them from anywhere from five to like seven months. You have the opportunity to come down here, meet a ton of new people, and work in a crazy, fun, and sometimes stressful environment. But it's all about growing you. I've grown so much as a person and a professional through this program, and it looks great on a resume. Disney's a huge and a really respectable company to work for. So people come down here for all different reasons. Some people want to come down here to live and work in Disney. Some people want to grow their resume, and some people want to just grow as a person. So there's a ton of reasons, and there's a lot of things that go into the Disney College program. But basically, the Disney College program, you get to come work here and go to Disney for free and make a lot of friends. It's a good time. I recommend it. What are some things you must do in the DCP? There are a ton of things you can do. Um, there's a ton of things to explore in the area. But my best advice for the DCP, which is kind of what you must do, when you can do something. If you have an off day, don't stay in because, you know, this time is limited. So when you have off, go to the park. Go to SeaWorld. Go to Universal. Just explore. Make friends. That's the big thing you want to do in DCP. Just meet so many new people because this is truly a unique experience. Which year, years of college do you recommend doing the DCP? I recommend doing it either your sophomore or junior year or after college. I went on my DCP after I graduated from college. Um, basically, the reason why I say is freshman year is a huge transitional period. So it's good to like get used to transitioning and leaving your home. And college is a good place to do that because, you know, it's just a little different. It's not as rigorous here as the Disney College program. Senior year, it's your senior year, you know, you're graduating with your class and I feel like you feel like, like you'd get left out. So I say sophomore or junior year because that's like in the between. So, yeah, that's just my um, take on that though. Not a question, I just wanted to let you know how appreciated you, you are and to me and others. So uh, have a blessed day. Oh, Michaela.Ray, thank you so much, I appreciate you. Give us the tea on being a custodian. Um, the tea on being a custodian is that it's literally a hidden gem. It's amazing. The leaders and coworkers you work with really put a lot of trust into you. So if you are a good worker or at least can do your job, um, it's a really good time. It's a fun time. You get to interact with a lot of people, coworkers, friends, and guests. It's a good time. That's the tea. I had my phone interview over a month ago and haven't heard anything back. This is good or bad. If you got to the phone interview, then you're already being considered, so I wouldn't stress about it. Anything about the ICP, I've actually had some roommates who were on the ICP and they loved it. The ICP is very close to the Disney College program. I'm not too knowledgeable about this, but what I can say is the ICP is also a fun time and people who have gone it love it. I am um, Joey Giovanni from Germany and Spain. Um, one thing I do know about the ICP is you are here for a year compared to six months on the DCP. How to network with leaders. Just talk to them. Let them know what you want from the company and let them know where you want to go. And they can help you. The biggest thing on your end though is that you need to know what you want out of this company. And once you have that figured out, go talk to any one of your leaders and they will help you out. Uh, Julia Ray. Was the application process easy? Love your videos. Don't know where that voice came from. Um, for me it was. It was very smooth, but it's very different depending on the person. Lucas Clark 1205 asks, do you prefer working full-time, part-time, over the DCP? Yes, I like working full-time compared to the DCP just because I'm in my own place and I have a little bit more control over my schedule. As a, as a college programmer, you are given the shifts that you are given. As a full-time slash part-time, you can actually work a little bit with your schedule. If I wasn't a custodian, what role would I be? Great question. I would love to be a character performer. That would be my second thing. I love being a custodian and I wouldn't change it for the world. But character performer would be second and third. Maybe character attendant. How many times did it take you to get into the DCP? Rebecca McGrain asked. Um, just once. <laughs> I know some people have different experiences. I had my one friend Hannah who actually took her a couple more times to get on it. I feel like it's just depending on what they're looking for at the time. There's no if, ands, or but on how to really decide 
I don't really know that process really. Fortunately for me, I just applied once and I got it. What great friends did you make on your program? Zane Burke. Well, hey Zane. Good to see you, man. I miss you. I love you. I made so many amazing friends here. Uh, to this day, I have so many friends. I can name them all, but there's honestly a lot. That's the cool thing about the college program. You meet so many people. You meet so many different people. So you, I've made some really good friends here. You just meet so many people here, and they all are awesome. So I've made some amazing friends, including you, Zane. Thanks for asking. Your favorite things about the DCP. Like I just said, um, friends. I've made a lot of good friends here. And always being able to stay busy. I'm one, I like to stay busy. So the fact that on my days off, I was able to go to any Disney World park that I seemed fit was truly amazing. That's probably my two favorite things. Going to the parks on my days off and making all these friends. Did you ever only get 30 hours a week on your side, entire CP? And how did you save money if so? Yes, so there was weeks where I only worked 30 hours. And during those weeks, I just would have to cut back. Based, it's easy. It's easy. It's easy to. It's not easy, but like you can do it. It's manageable to work and live off 30 hours. But you can also pick up shifts. That's a bigger thing. So if you need more money because you only got 30 hour shifts, you have the option to pick up shifts. How did you balance life, work, and still get to go to the parks? That is a great question. I'm still working on that to this day. But basically on the CP, I did a lot of closing shifts um, as a custodian. So I was able to go to the park a lot in the daytime. If you noticed, I haven't had too many Magic Kingdom vlogs recently because on my CP, I'd go to Magic Kingdom, vlog, then go to work. Now, I vlog at Hollywood Studios and go to work. How to cope, adapt to the first few weeks of work? Elizabeth, um, you're gonna be with a lot of people. So I think the best thing you can do is rely on your family and all your friends. You are in the same boat as everyone else. As High School Musical once said, we're all in this together. That's truly a feeling of community here on the DCP. Mad Ken said, how do I get a new roommate? Trying to get rid of Hannah. These are my friends, by the way. Um, I love them both. And uh, you gotta talk to Hannah about that. Would you wish you would have gotten a different role than custodian? No. Um, at first, I was a little apprehensive because I knew I was gonna be cleaning up trash and stuff, but I would never wish to get another role. Custodian has been such a blessing in my life and I can't even explain it. I'll make another video about that one day, but it was truly amazing. How to tell your parents you want to do DCP if you're afraid they won't support it. I had to explain to them that's gonna be um, a huge help in both your professional and personal life to grow. Because when you come on this program, you will grow both professionally and as a person. You need to just let them understand, or at least try your best to let them understand that this is what you want to do. You have one life to live, you're only getting older, and it's important. Um, I've had friends who weren't really supported at first by their parents, but after they went on the program and they saw that how, how happy they were, they understood. And you also want to tell them that like working for Disney is a huge accomplishment. Disney is huge, and it's a great company to work for. Alex Weaver here said, is it worth it? I got accepted, but I don't know if I should go. Go on it, it's worth it. How did I find out about the DCP? I found out about the DCP through character perform auditions online. I wanted to dance for Disney, so I'm like, how can I do this? And my good roommate, Dan, which you'll see in the future, actually, um, back from Scranton, uh, applied, so he knew all about it already. How does it work if you're not American? Basically, you go on the ICP, the International College Program. I started DCP in February. What are the class and work schedules like? Work schedules depend on your role. I have had friends who work, um, you know, park reader, and they're up in the morning. Me? On the DCP, I did a lot of light night shifts because it all depends on where you fit in with the part-time and full-time employees. Is the social aspect of DCP quite clingy or do people mingle? People definitely mingle. I think one thing about the Disney College program is everyone understands that they're here and there's so many different people to meet that there's a lot of open people that, you know, want to get to know you. Now, like anywhere else in life, there will be clicky people, but I've noticed that there's a majority that a lot of people are very open to meeting new people. Can you talk about what you know about extending your program? Basically, at the end of your uh, college program, you are offered to extend your program. If you don't have enough, if, at the end of your college program, you are offered to extend your program, which basically means you can stay in your same role, same location, or try to, for something else. Depending on what Disney needs at the time, and depending on your record card as far as call outs and coming into late, uh, you can extend or not extend. Some people love to extend, some people go part time, full time, and some people go home. What's the best age to start the DCP? There isn't one. I feel like you can learn and grow from any age. The best time to start the DCP, as an age-wise, 
Ah, uh, definitely not freshman or sophomore year. I think the best way is to go into it when you have a few years under your belt of college. That's what I think. There we go. Because then you kind of like know who you are and you know what you want. And when you have two years under your belt of college, you can transfer down here as well. It makes it easier. Ooh, smart. Hey, you want to help me with one more question? Last one? Sure. And for the final... Oh, shoot. This is mine, right? Yeah. <gasps> I don't know how that guy here. That's right. I gotta bring this. To um, G Tanner asked, best part of the DCP overall. Oh, is this the DP, DCP thing? Yeah. Cal Pala. Wait, did, wait, what was the question again? Best part of the Disney College program overall. Overall? Yeah. Probably working for Disney. X. Yeah, I think uh, working for Disney is awesome. And for me personally, it was just meeting all the people. This is weird. Did you just stand and do a QA? Yeah, I did the whole thing standing. I like this. <laughs> See you later, Kyle Palo. That's Kyle Palo, everybody. <laughs> all right, guys. With all that being said, that was a pretty rapid fire uh, question Q and A through my Instagram about the DCP. I tried answering some of the most popular slash like asked questions about the Disney College program. Let me know down below if any of these things helped you. And if you're considering the DCP, do it. I didn't even know about it for the longest time, and I'm so glad I did it. It changed my life. I'm here. I live here full time now. So the DCP is amazing. If you have any more questions, comment down below. I will try to answer as many as I can. But with all that being said, guys, every day is a blessed day to be alive, and I will see you in the next one. Make sure you go ahead, like, subscribe, share, comment down below. I stand. I stood up for this whole thing. So uh, yeah, peace, guys.